What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back here again with another video. And today we're gonna check out WWE Mid-Air Counter Compilation Part 1. Um, I know you guys have been looking forward to some more WWE content, so you know I got you. You know I got you on the wrestling content. Um, just trying to, you know, satisfy everybody on this channel as much as possible. Um, best believe there's gonna be some more gameplays, and best believe there's actually gonna be some more dancing videos on the way. So stay tuned to that. But I'm looking forward to this video. Appreciate all the love and support. Let's get right into it, man. Oh, Damn. That's how we starting it off? Alright. Let's get into it, man. I like being Clashing's videos. Like his little compilations. They're pretty dope. Put some time into them. <clears throat> Hopefully WWE don't ever block his stuff. Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, the, and that's it. <laughs> oh, man. Mmm. Oh, oh no, bro! Sasha's face, Sasha's face. Oh my God, yo, that's crazy. Look at her face. Usually a wise decision, but it's oh. Oh, oh. Oh. with a knee right to the face. I almost spoke too soon. Metalik landing on his feet. Oh, this is going in. Oh, oh, right damn. Drop kick. Kingston face first into the ladder. Okay, that was pretty cool. Top Jimmy Uso went underneath. John Morrison oh. into a super kick. Morrison. And the decorated striker from the Netherlands. Oh, no. Yo, I don't even know what to say to that type of pain when you're in mid, like, fully extended, upside down, trying to, like, land a flip, and you get hit in the the gut with a kendo stick? Bruh. Ah, uh, you can't fake that pain. Let, let's go back to it. This is some pain you can't fake. Look at this. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God, bro. This it could be over. Someone's of sustained offense. Well, maybe not that sustained. Oh, I spoke a little bit too soon. Oh, that was nice. The timing on these type of maneuvers you gotta be on point. Enzo. Enzo. <laughs> It's not going to end well for Miz. That was a nice drop kick. Very nice drop kick. Of course, the beginning clip. Goodbye, Hardy. Goodbye, Jeff. <laughs> it doesn't even look like when John Cena's on the top rope. It never looked right to me because he looked so awkward up there. He's always looked awkward on the top rope. Oh my god. Oh, this is a good spot. I remember this. I don't want I'm trying to figure out what he was doing. Just by the position of where he was going to land. I'm trying to figure out what move he was gonna hit on fucking Randy Orton. Come on now. Come on now. Let's look at this again. What move was he going to hit? Look at this. Don't even know what he was going to hit. Oh. Oh, you know it's coming. You know the super kick's coming. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh damn that looked good in slow-mo yeah Ooh. 
Ooh, the impact on that. Ooh. Oh, that was nice. Nice drop kick. Perfect drop kick. <laughs> Anytime anybody comes up to the top rope against Randy, you know RKO is coming. That's that's just what it is. You go in the air to the top rope against Randy Orton, you're gonna catch an RKO. Oh, jeez, damn. You know, I don't know. The problem with that is he's looking right at him. That's the whole problem with that whole spot. They're looking at each other. He's waiting for him to jump down. Like it, it didn't. It doesn't make sense. It'd be different if he had his back turned and then he turned around. He jumped and then he hit the move. But they're looking at each other. It's like, come on, bro. <laughs> look at this, yo. Like, look how it just look. He's looking at that. Look. <laughs> It's a dope visual. Spear looked good, but it was just like. Oh, oh that's cold. He did him dirty. He did him dirty. <laughs> Glorious RKO. You know. And the nigga Randy laughs. Damn. It's not going to end well for him. Once again, he's looking at him, too. He's like, just jump down here, bro. I'm going to sock you in your face. <laughs> okay, that was dope. That was dope. That was a good one. That was a good mid-air collision. And AJ sold it because it's AJ Styles. That was a real good one. That was a good one. Couldn't have a better team representing Raw. <laughs> oh this one this one right here oh my god oh my god oh my god bro the dude i don't know if you know the backstory behind that i'm not sure what pay-per-view this is oh survivor series it said it right there but um basically shane mcmahon Ends up going for the coast to coast. Roman hits him with the spear. And as he hits him with his spear, his head hits the canvas. And he ends up actually getting a concussion. Like, I think it was supposed to be a one, two, three right there. But he instinctively kicked out. Like, he just, he, it was weird. Like, he, you could tell he wasn't there. But he still kicked out. I think he was supposed to just take the pinfall there. Like, look at it. Look at that. Like, they don't show the full thing, but he was supposed to, I believe, kick out at that. Well, he was supposed to take the pinfall there, but he kicked out, and you can tell just by his eyes, he was glazed over. His kids was in the audience. Randy Orton broke character, and you can see it on camera. They weren't supposed to show it, but you can see it on camera. Randy Orton goes over to his kids, lets them know, yo, your, your dad's fine. We're checking on him. We're going to make sure he's good. Like, he was out. Like, he was out. Like, he legit suffered a concussion, bro. That was brutal, dog. Never wish anybody really get hurt in the ring like that. But that's part of being in the ring. Sometimes accidents like that happen. Much respect to Shane McMahon because Shane doesn't have to. Shane doesn't have to, man. He's a, a millionaire. He doesn't have to get in the ring. But he does it because he knows, you know, the fans want it. The fans want to be entertained. So shout out to him for putting his body on the line all these years, even now. That was a good one. Oh, he sold it, too. Look at this. He sold it the way he flopped out of there. Oh, no. Oh, it's going to end bad. Cesaro sold it. <laughs> Cesaro sold it. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. I think that was the same pay-per-view. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, I think 
I think that was the same pay-per-view. Yeah, that was the same pay-per-view that happened. When Shane caught the concussion. Look at that. Oh, my God. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh, man. Yo. Not a bad compilation. Not a bad compilation, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. I know they have a part two. So if you guys want me to check out part two, make sure you get this video to 1,500 likes. I know you guys can do it. You guys have been killing the like goal even without me saying anything. I haven't really set too many like goals, but you guys be smashing the, the hell out of that like button. So if you can get this video to 1,500 likes, I will definitely put out part two ASAP. I'll probably try to put it out tomorrow if you guys can get this video to 1500 likes but man when it comes to these mid-air collisions man not gonna lie to you some of them it, it looks the visual look cool but the setup is kind of obvious and then some of them the setup is just perfect you don't see it really coming like the way they set it up is like okay that was that one looks pretty dope it you know it it, it comes off believable but when you're looking at someone about to jump at you and they're looking at you like it doesn't doesn't come off believable it's just it's just a nice visual get the crowd popped you know get them excited and stuff like that so comment down below what is your favorite mid-air collision from just this, this video specifically man just keep it this video what was your favorite mid-air collision clip let me know um once again get this video to 1500 likes i'll drop part two asap super quick but i appreciate all the love and support road to 30k appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace